Hey guys, Spartan here again with another video for you. This one is going to be all about digital ID display on your Astro 25 radio. Fun stuff, okay? First things first, just know that this is for Astro 25 series, the second gen of P25 from Motorola. So this is going to apply to your XTS 2500s, XTS 5000s, XTL 2500s, XTL 5000s, anything that's Astro 25. This will not necessarily work on your XTS 3000, the Gen 1 series of Astro radios. There are ways around all of this stuff, but that's for another video. We'll get into all of that some other time. No big deal. So the whole thing was, I get a lot of questions about how I can get the radio ID of other people to show up on my, my radio. Not just the number, but they want like a name or, or an alias or something like that. This is how it's done. First and foremost, you got to make sure that you have H14 Enhanced Digital ID Display in your flash code for the radio. Without it, there's, again, ways around things, but it's really not going to work the way it's supposed to. So, with that in your flash code, you're all set, good to go. First things first, we need to set up our buddy list. Our Astro call list is what it's called. So on our tree of fun over here, make sure you bust out your call list. Now you can have more than one, but again, outside the scope of this video. So what we need to do is add everybody in there that we want to have an alias for. So 7733, for example. Instead of call five, let's make that Susan. All right. So what we did in effect is create an address book, if you will. We have two types of calls. We have groups and individuals, okay? So 65535 is P25's all call, but again, different video. So what we need to do is Bob, Carol, Joe, and Susan, they're all my friends. They all have radios. We all talk to each other on a P25 channel. I want to see their name when they key up on the radio. Cool. I put their radio numbers in here under call ID and whatever alias I want for them to show up, that's what I put in there. Pretty simple. Now that we have our call list set, let's go over to our conventional personality. Again, this is for a P25 channel. So we need to pop over to the Astro call. Make sure everything is checked for decoding. This is what turns on all of these nifty little features within our radio that allows our radio to decode all of the signaling systems that are affiliated uh, within Astro 25. This is what allows my radio to decode all of this stuff properly. Now you see under here I've got encode checked. That allows me to selective call all of this other fun stuff, but because my radio is a Model 2, I don't have a full keypad. I can't just free willy text a number in there. I can't just manually type 7733 to talk to Susan selectively calling her. So I have to use a call ID list. There's list number one selected because I've only got one in there. And there's my list. So this really becomes all important for us Model 2 guys without the Model 3 keypad on there. We can't just free text numbers in there. That's why Astro Unlimited calling is not available to us here on the conventional personality. Anyway, so we've got all of our decoding options checked and that is very, very important to turn on all of these fun features. What's neat about that is even if you don't have a call list set up, it will decode certain things from other radios. That's its whole point. So for example, on Bob's radio, if he were to open up radio wide settings on the general tab, scroll all the way down, he can check this radio ID alias enable and type his name in there. That name will show up on your radio because you have decode checked and enabled here. Now, I've seen instances where this call list will override whatever Bob's got on there. So Bob's radio says my name on his code plug, but in my list it says Bob. I've seen this override this, but I've also seen this call list override that. A lot of different stuff, a lot of different moving parts as to why that is, but this is basically it. Now, you can do this for your radio as well. So this way your alias shows up on somebody else's Astro 25 radio. Cool, no big deal, all right? Some interesting things with this as well is on our display menu, so if you pop open the display menu from the Tree of Fun, we're going to hit that PTT ID tab and check that ID display is actually checked. That will display an ID when your radio receives it. Now, this end of voice timer, I get a lot of questions about that. 
and all that is is a timer the ID to remain on the screen after the call has been completed so Bob is talking he is done talking he dekeys his radio our radios go quiet how many seconds do I want his name to show up on the screen and remain there after he's done talking that's what this number is so Bob's done talking he dekeys I want his ID or whoever's ID was just talking to stay up there for two seconds unless somebody else keys up and overrides that that's what's going to happen pretty simple stuff all right so now that that's done you're basically set now your astro system here for this to work properly bob joe susan carol all of these people need to have their id set in the astro system so whatever number they put here for bob needs to correlate with your list So if this was Carol's code plug here, she would need to put in 4321 instead of 1234. So this way when she transmits, this number is sent over the air. Your radio sees that number in the list and it puts Carol on the screen for you. Does this all make sense? That's that's pretty much it. A lot of people miss this step right here. They forget to put in their own individual ID. Even though they've got all this stuff in the list, it still is not working right. That's because... The radio needs an ID to send, so the receiving radio can check it against list and all this other stuff and knows what to do with it. If you got two radios with the same ID, you're going to have some problems. That's why I suggest everybody have their own. You can look up Astro 25 IDs and see all this fun stuff and what the max is, but four-digit number is pretty good. But that's basically it. Now that you've got all of this set, you can write this to your radio, and as long as everything's working right, you should have perfect caller ID, enhanced digital ID displayed. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to make it as short and to the point as possible. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around.